did write, I wrote a bit of a draft, but first, you know, the essential question that we are here to determine today is should the, le the, the uh, ideas behind HB 1652 be recommended for future legislation? And I will, um, I think we've talked to a number, you know, we've had lots of good testimony, lots of, some discussion, some debate, party. Um, so the question I, I would ask, would anyone like to move either way? Make a motion. Do we wish to recommend this for future legislation? Uh, so moved. Is it seconded? Yes. Okay. Is there any discussion? No. No. Yeah, I don't understand how you didn't go with us. <laughs> but we don't need to discuss that. I just threw it in. And I will call. Oh, oh. Okay. Yes. You no. Yeah. Yep. I've been moved to favor legislation in some areas. I think this is a little too much too soon. So I'm going to be opposing that motion. Have you have you read about Michigan? I've I've read everything. Okay. It's, it's reduced the problem and increased the income for the state. I think it's too much too soon. What's law and order? Okay, I will, um, I will call the roll and uh, so. Excuse me. Sure. Did you pass out what um, you well, I haven't read it. Oh no, yes. I haven't passed it out for oh, okay. because. Um, Passed it out to some of them. Some of you might have seen it. It's not a secret. It's, but um, I want to go over it. Let me call the roll first, and then um, because this is n this is not. So the roll, the motion is to recommend future legislation based on HB 1652, moved by Representative Robertson, seconded by Representative Gagne. I'll call uh, Representative Gagne. Have you voted? Uh, for the motion? Yes. Yes. Representative Robertson? Aye. Representative Welch? No. Representative Chandley votes no. So that is a 2 2 vote. Now, that's the, what we, what I, have, what I have here is we need to put what is essentially a blurb into the record. And I was working on a blurb which covers both viewpoints. And it's, it's way wordier than it needs to be because we won't need to put all the initial parts in. But I would be happy to include anything else you would like to see in the blurb, I will include. That's just my rough draft. I would include anything else anybody wants to see in, because I think that you know, we, had a, we had some difference of opinion. And I can cut some of that, you know, some of that doesn't need to be stated as well. Um, so. Would, uh, if this is not feasible, this mm -hmm. motion, mm -hmm. if it's too much, too soon, according to mm -hmm. Representative, mm -hmm. how about something to the order of decriminalization of an ounce or less? Well, I think that what we're going to do now is our, our committee recommendation, which is split, will go before the full committee in a few minutes. Then we can have it. And then we oh, can okay. discuss sure. that. Okay? Okay. So, if everybody's comfortable, I'll end this um, interim study meeting. I want to thank everybody because I do think we had very, um, very good discussions. I think we had excellent testimony. I hope one of the things I would really urge, and I know I've, this is my first, ending my first term, but I would like the information in here not to just go into the file folder because we've got this information and it's good information. Mm -hmm. And I would like to be sure to, whatever we do, we encourage anyone going forward to um, make sure to utilize this information and the people who, 
Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate your time and effort. And we'll talk about it in another half an hour. Right. Do you have an extra coffee? I do. I do. I do. I have a list of I like to be money, everybody. It's good to see you all back again. Um, we're going to do um, the executive session uh, from study committees. And the last bill we'll take up is House Bill 1652. We sit and argue, and we know this is going to come back next year, no matter what we do. Yeah. Representative Robinson. Yeah, I'd like to speak against the motion. Uh, and, and, and for instance, part of the people who were against recommending it, it was it's too soon. Well, you know, at some point it was too soon to free the slaves. It was too soon to give women the vote. It was too soon to do away with with uh, slavery. Yeah, we did that. that. Uh, <laughs> Prohibition. Uh, it's going to happen even in those people's minds. And, and if you look at California and Colorado and uh, so several other states where they have done this, it has not resulted in any problem. And, and, and to compare, I think the law should be the same on marijuana as they are in alcohol. The biggest killer of Americans and the most addictive drug is tobacco. 500,000 people a year die of tobacco. And it's a huge expense, but it brings in a lot of tax money. The second biggest killer of Americans, 100,000 a year, is alcohol. The other thing that kills people are the hard drugs, 10,000 people. 10% of what alcohol does, 2% of what tobacco does. There has never been one death certificate made blaming marijuana. Not one. And to be putting people in jail, making them convicted felons for the rest of their life over being caught growing marijuana is just filling our jails or and costing us huge amounts of money in destroying this person when they have given up this drug or stopped doing these things, getting jobs with the government, getting jobs with the state, supporting their families, etc., etc. And to say it's too soon to try to do this, when we passed a law just recently in our session saying if you attack sexually, two eight-year-olds, you can get out on parole, but if you grew a couple of ounces of marijuana, you're a criminal for the rest of your life. It's just, it's time we did something. It's time we looked at what's going on in Portugal and, and Holland and other countries where all drugs are legal and their percent of people who are addicted to those drugs is one-tenth of what ours is. It's like in prohibition. The amount of alcohol consumed didn't go down by one bottle. In fact, it probably increased and, and the quality was lousy and, and, and it corrupted a lot of law enforcement people who knew it was a stupid law and therefore if, that when they found their cousin drinking alcohol looked the other way and that's unfortunately, I think, probably going on today uh, with marijuana. But anyway, I, I would hope we would defeat the present motion and put a motion in to get on with this and, and wake up to the fact that we're living in a world which is uh, changing. Representative Burton, Representative Spencer. Do you have this one? Oh, any other comments? Representative McCarthy, the Representative Robinson. Uh, I agree totally with what Gina was saying. And basically, I don't smoke marijuana. It's not a personal thing at all. I'm, I'm speaking from a viewpoint of justice and people being my record for life. It's gone. 
And uh, I think Gene is right. We have to face this. So although we can't support this, we, I think it's up to us to help do something about this. It is justice that we're looking for. Thank you.